Thank <laughs>
where I saw stuff like this. Even like with puppets, like in uh, Rainbow and Play School, the kind of like pretending they're real is, is super cool. So I love, I really love stuff like this. And it's a reoccurring thing in, in a lot of uh, the work that I make. And it's really easy to do this kind of thing. So uh, lo lots of them really involve a trick of perspective. Just, you know, like that looks like a normal sized cat. S stick someone behind. Something in your brain can sort of tell you maybe it's a giant cat. You know that it isn't, but you can sort of trick yourself into thinking it. So I've done this a lot. I did a little project a year or two ago where you just stand next to something and, and it changes things. So where, whenever I'm out and about, I'm looking for instances to do this. That's just in Muji. They have everything set up for you. So anyway, after... After um, Seoul, I, I came back to New York and um, I continued with this taking photos of people on the subway. Uh, they didn't seem to mind as much in New York, plus everyone's really tired, so it, it lends, your, <laughs> lends themselves for, uh, for doing this kind of thing. Um, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, and they also have video. They, so on Instagram stories, you can shoot video and you can shoot video and then draw on top of it. So I started to experiment a little bit with that. Um, so you have to shoot the video first and then, then make the drawing. Uh, these are some, uh, sorry for a, a very uh, lewd humor. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so you can do a lot with very little which I'm really into, like a high yield, low effort. So this, this kind of shows you how, you how you can do it. It's a video without the thing. Um, and through doing this, I've been drawing this little hot dog guy. Um, he appears in a lot of the videos. And I mainly, I mainly draw him because he's so easy to draw. So I'm making these things on the go. I'm trying not to spend any time uh, doing them. So uh, just drawing with my thumb and, and finger and stuff. Sometimes I draw other things. Sometimes you want a pole dancing banana. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll show you how, how I do them. I spent a long time shooting videos like this and imagining what will go there. And then I start to sort of build in the thing. I draw a little anchor point, a little sort of thing that uh, will hinge on whether the, you know, the uh, video will work. And then, it's, then you just add in the little sausage guy. And there he is, very easy, so you can all make them now. Um, and then in Instagram stories, if you have a video, it'll automatically play the next video. So I've recently started to try and do uh, sequential ones, where you, you put two videos together. So, um, so I sh you know, do stuff like this. This is a guy on the G train. And then the next video comes in straight away. So you can start to build little narratives, start to have little, little fun with these things. It's a very well-behaved cat. Go. All right. Um, so I did that for a while. It was a lot of fun. And then um, I decided uh, it was too much like hard work. And I was in my supermarket, and I saw this shadow. And I thought, if I just added a little eye, then it looks like a face. And that's like really quick to do. So I started to make a lot of these very recently, because um, they're even easier than the videos. So, and New York's got a lot of trash, so it's kind of fun. They, this seems to have a lot of personality. Like this really wasted waste can. And, um, and you can still, I still sometimes do it with the videos and things. And it's quite satisfying if you can tr kind of bring out personality or some sort of narrative out of very inanimate uh, objects. Um, so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun doing that. It's, um, some tulips. <laughs> Uh, and it's particularly satisfying if you, you can sort of build, build a, a character or something out of, out of the actual environment, you know, like you, using the, the chains or something, or, or pieces for the teeth. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, someone in, it snowed recently, and someone built an igloo in uh, Williamsburg, where I live, and immediately it was up for rent, and it, it got taken, and the little, little hot dog man moved in. <laughs> Good. 
Uh, it's all melted now. So uh, as a byproduct of all this, I'm starting to see faces everywhere in lots of different things. Like you know, it's quite quite obvious. But in my studio, I've seen this exit sign for three or four years, and now I can't not see it as a face. It's not really an obvious face, but I can't not see it as a face. When I'm walking home and I'm a little drunk or something, I start seeing faces in the footprints in the snow, which are quite scary. Um, and the very, really nice thing about putting this stuff on, on the Instagram stories or Snapchat is that the, it, it disappears after a while. They last for about a day, and then they automatically delete. So you can do really stupid, goofy things that you wouldn't normally want to show anyone and not Ex worry about it, unless you're showing it in election. Explorer extraordinaire Mr. Egg explores the outer reaches of the kitchen in his avocado spaceship. Oh, we're landing in Planet Salad. It seems very friendly down here. Oh no, what's that? Oh no, leave me alone, no! Um, so you would never really want people to see that, but... Uh, and then through doing all this stuff, like goofing off, playing around, um, I've, start, you know, I've shown some of these things in, in galleries and things, which is really uh, hilarious. And... and um, and I've tried to learn how to do After Effects a bit now. Look at that, through the thing. Um, so this is, <laughs> this, is just, this is just me trying to learn how to do it, because I've been inspired, inspired to sort of try and take it a step further, which I never ever thought I would do, because I just, you know, I'm predominantly just like drawing on paper and stuff, so. Um, so yeah, it's. It's good. I don't know if I'll keep doing it, but it's kind of fun doing it. And then, and then another thing is that, you know, doing it digitally has only made me want to do it in an analog sense. And now I carry <laughs> stickers made <laughs> so I can put things. So, uh, yeah, allow your imagination to be a raw material. And uh, you remember, uh, any idiot can put eyes on things. Um, so can I be that idiot? Thanks very much. Yeah.